Hey loves, it's Mahogany and I'm back with another video. So today's video, I'm gonna tell you what to expect when you are going to get your Brazilian done. Yes. Oh yes, guys, go ahead and like this video if you like it. Go ahead and comment, go ahead and subscribe, join the tribe because all of those things help me here on this crazy world of YouTube. So go ahead, back to the video. If you are here, you probably already saw my video on sugaring versus waxing, which one is better. So if you have not watched that video, go ahead and check it out now. So in that video, I just talked about the, the differences between sugaring and waxing and which one is better. I love sugaring. Sugaring is hands down my favorite one. It was the first one that I tried and experienced and I've been on it ever since because like I said in my last video I was sick of nair I was sick of shaving I needed to make a change and I needed it to last so definitely Brazilians was the next option so yes so I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know to get prepared in the aftercare for your Brazilian waxes so keep watching so how to prepare for your Brazilian wax so so a few days before your wax, you wanna go ahead and use some kind of exfoliator to help remove any dead skin cells, of course. And it helps prevent ingrown hairs because we hate ingrown hairs. I like sugaring and sugaring, I don't see ingrown hairs, but I know it does depend on the individual skin. Like your skin might be more, might be more inclined to ingrowns. So you definitely wanna take some kind of preventative. So this is the scrub that I use to exfoliate a few days before my appointment. And I got this from my actual wax technician. She gave me this. Um, it's a foaming sugar scrub and it's called Georgia Peach. It smells real good. It smells like peaches. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I just used this a couple days before. You can get a scrub from Walmart. Like I think I had a scrub from Walmart. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, this is another scrub that I used to use. It is a sugar, it's a shea sugar scrub and it has almond and honey and it's by Tree Hut. And you can just get this from Walmart, Ulta, probably Sally's, any little place like that. And just exfoliate down there just to help you not get any ingrowns, okay? Two to three days before you wanna just go ahead and exfoliate down there. So the day before your wax, do not exfoliate. You don't want to take. So the day before your wax, you do not want to exfoliate. You don't want to take any hot baths because you don't want to make your skin any more sensitive or you don't want to make it dry. The day of your appointment, of course, you're going to come clean, have it clean down there, dry. Don't put any oils. I know some people like to put coconut oil and stuff down in their area. Don't put any of extra oils down there. Don't put any lotions, any creams. And you wanna try to avoid alcohol, coffee, anything with caffeine in it because it can make you more sensitive to pain. You wanna avoid any sensitivity and definitely avoid alcohol. Also, you can, I don't really do it, you can if you want to. Um, you can take an ibuprofen like 30 minutes before, 30 minutes before your appointment to help you with your with any pain that you think you might feel. But it's not like that. Um, yeah, you want to take you an ibuprofen if you want, and it'll help you if you might have some pain from the pulling because that is trauma on the skin, you know, from pulling. I do sugaring, so I don't have much pulling on the skin, but I know if you get a wax, use like the regular hard wax, you will have more pulling on your skin and you would definitely probably want to take one, take an ibuprofen. Either way, you can take one, especially if it's your first time because you're not going to know what to expect. So definitely take you some ibuprofen. First things first, I'm going to talk about my personal experience when I got my Brazilian wax. The first wax that I got was sugaring, but the first one really did not hurt y'all. Now, okay, all right, let me let me not lie. So the top part hurt, like that little top area, it hurt, it hurts, but it's quick though. Like it's not a throbbing pain. When you get up, you're not even gonna feel it again. Like after she does it and like 20 seconds later, you really not gonna feel it. Let me tell you when it hurt. So y'all know we just went through quarantine, right? So I had just got my wax 
the day before they shut everything down the day before like when i got there my lady was like girl we was just about to close down we probably wasn't gonna come in today so it's so good that you came and i just so happened to be off of work so that's how i, I was able to make it so i went and got my wax and then you guys know that they just started opening things back up really probably like two weeks ago they just started opening things back up so from march 23rd all the way until the end of may y'all oh my gosh so when i went and got that wax that sh hurt at the top like i couldn't even y'all and i and i'm somebody i can take pain like i can sit there and take whatever and i don't even have no but i was like oh oh shoot but i was about to start my period like my period was about to get ready to come on. So yes, that's another thing, guys. If you are on, if you are about to start your period or if you are on your period, you will be more sensitive. No, my period had just went off. So yeah, if you are on your period or about to get off of your period, it is gonna hurt more. It's definitely gonna hurt more. And of course, because I had like, I had went two eight weeks two months without a wax of course it's gonna hurt like what the what the end of may the end of march to the end of may so yeah y'all it it hurts so definitely take you some ibuprofen because it's worth it it's gonna last you up to four to six weeks four to six weeks and in and it's exfoliating those dead skin cells so it's helping you become even all over because darker skin does tend to scar we do scar more so it definitely helps us when you get your waxes. Whatever one you decide to go, I definitely think that it's worth it. I like it way better than shaving, way better than nair. It's definitely worth it. So if you are curious, if you think it's going to hurt, take you some ibuprofen. It does hurt at the top. I'm not going to lie. It does hurt at the top. But it's definitely worth it. So just take you some ibuprofen. Don't drink no alcohol and go get your wax and get your, get your life because... We sick of Nair. Nair smells like butt crack. I don't care what nobody says. Nair smells like butt. You can't even go near your stuff real quick before your little boo come because you scared he might smell it. Don't lie and say you ain't experienced that before because you did. <laughs> go ahead and make your appointments, ladies, and go get your wax. Your Brazilian. Whatever you want, go get your Brazilian. Go make your appointment. So that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to join the tribe. Don't forget to comment. If you have had a Brazilian wax and it was a crazy experience, let me know. If you have not had a wax yet and you want to, let me know down in the comment box, guys. Yes. Let me know everything. If you go get it after this video, let me know how it goes. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to join the tribe and until next time don't forget that you're beautiful peace